Hello, this is Doug Heath coming at you from the Black Business Experience. Today, we have the honor of having the esteemed Elwood Plummer with us. He, uh, Mr. Plummer, has been a coach for 40 years. Coach Plummer, I call him. He uh, currently is the director at the Second Baptist Community Center here in San Antonio, which is a fabulous place we'll talk about a little bit later. But Coach, as a coach for 40 years, uh, most of them, 30 of them, I believe, have been at uh, Prairie View. Is that correct? Third of the years were at Prairie View. The other years were at various colleges. Oh, like where? St. Phillips was my first college where okay. I first worked. And uh, I left there and I went to Jackson State University as an assistant coach. Awesome. And I stayed there three years. And I went to Wiley University. I stayed at Wiley University one year. Then I went to Prairie View for 30 years. And okay. these last three years, I was at St. Phillips College. I'm sorry, at uh, Houston Tillerson University in Austin uh, for three years. And I was there until my wife uh, decided she would retire from teaching and okay. coaching herself. So we then came back to San Antonio. Okay. So I've been back home about three years. Very good. All right. So, you know, uh, I noticed there looking up on the Internet preparing that you won over 300 games in your career. That's quite an esteemed uh, uh, accomplishment. Had the honor of uh, playing Kansas when they were number one uh, one year, and you went to the NCAA tournament, is that correct? That's correct, and they had a young man that's in the pros now. His name is Paul Pierce. Oh, okay. Who was, a, who was an outstanding player at uh -huh. Kansas. And uh, I really enjoyed playing against Kansas during that time. Uh, even though we lost the game, we did yeah. uh, get something positive out of that. Well, Paul Pierce is a future Hall of Famer. Correct. Awesome. Well, the reason we got you here is not talk about sports. We want to talk about the Second Baptist Community Center on Commerce Street here in San Antonio. Um, I got the uh, privilege of visiting it yesterday. You gave me a tour. I was just amazed at the, uh, the, all of the, the facility in itself and all of the options that you offer the community. Can you tell us a little bit about it? The complex at uh, Second Baptist Community Center is one that's going on its third year. Okay. Uh, we have pretty nice facility there. Uh, pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice facility. The coach is being understated today. That's a <laughs> very nice facility. Well, uh, I was taught you don't brag on yourself. So. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, this show you can brag. Yeah. You wanna... So we we uh, think a whole lot of the facility, and it's been in use pretty much. Uh, we have about 14 rooms there, with the agape room being the best and biggest room that we have. And how many uh, does that seat? That seats about 175 to 200. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, that's with tables. Without tables, you can put about 300 in there. Okay, so great meeting space there for a, a conference or whatever? Correct. Awesome. Uh, then we have a gymnasium where we have uh, actually three gym floors. We have two floors going east and west, and then we have one floor that goes north and south. Okay. When we're not using the east and west floors. Do you have tournaments there and the like? We have tournaments there. We have a tournament this week coming up. Okay. Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. Saturday and Sunday evening. Now about the gymnasium, I understand that's a multi-purpose uh, facility or multi-purpose area. Tell me what other kind of things you can do with that gymnasium space. Well, we've had uh, about three graduations there. Wow. From high school, various high schools. Okay. Uh, we've had banquets. We've had wedding receptions. We've had uh, baby showers. Okay. We've had uh, a number of projects put on by the city of San Antonio. Okay. We've also had uh, the minister's conference, which is going in, into its last day tomorrow. They're there this week, and people are coming from all over Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and Louisiana and Mississippi. So we actually have the, the jewel of the Nile. I like to call it the jewel of the east side right here mm -hmm. in our midst. And a lot of people don't know about the facility. You know, right there you've got multi-purpose uh, meeting rooms. Uh, how many meeting rooms? Eight meeting rooms? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen meeting rooms. The multi-purpose gym area there that can be used for either tournaments and can convert to uh, weddings, receptions, uh, et cetera. Um, the other thing is that I that a lot of people don't know is the, the bowling alley. Uh, tell us about the bowling alley. Well, we have a bowling alley with uh, eight lanes and uh, 
Wayland Baptist, Baptist at this time is using it for one of his, of his courses in Bowling. Wow. Okay. So they're over there several times uh, during the month uh, to use the bowling alley for their bowling class. Great. We yeah. also have bowling parties, uh, which take, take place just about every week. Somebody's okay. having a bowling party, whether it be somebody who's uh, nine years old or somebody who's uh, 50 years old or older. Okay. So we've had uh, great success with that bowling, with that, uh, bowling project that we have. Awesome. Now, what are the hours of the facility? 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, okay. unless we are having some type of activity at night, okay. then the, bo then the, uh, the uh, community center stay stays open. We also have it open on Friday, I mean on Saturdays and Sundays when we have something going on. Okay, but that's by schedule only. It's not open to the public uh, on Saturdays and Sundays, is that correct? No, just Monday through Friday Monday through to Friday. the public. Okay. And then Saturday and Sundays by appointment. And if there's an event going on, it's open. Okay. And uh, how will we get uh, a hold of someone if we want to schedule it? Well, you need to contact me. Uh, again, my name is Elwood Plummer. My phone number is 210-281-5168. Great. Okay. And I'm at 3310 East Commerce Street uh, at Second Baptist Church. Now, you know, and like, as we were talking about earlier, when you want to have an event, you want to have a reception, you want to have a graduation party, bowling parties, whatever. A lot of us on the east side and in the community, we want to run downtown. And, and downtown is a fabulous place, but we've got facilities here on the east side. They employ people from the east side. And, and let's, let's take advantage of those facilities. I mean, how many times do people here on the east side want to, want to go to a bowl, and they'll go out off of I-10 and De Zavala, all the way out there, and we've got a facility that's bowling that's right here um, you know, on, in, in our community. That, that's a great resource. We just want to make sure that everyone knows about it. Uncle, Coach, you want to switch uh, gears just for a second here, if you don't mind. I'm going to get back to coaching for a little bit. Okay. You know, now, I was looking at the NBA draft this tonight, and, you know, I noticed that, you know, you talked about you got a tournament there, and a lot of business people, myself even, we have kids that, they aspire to play football, basketball, or whatever, and less than 1% of those folks actually make it to the, uh, the professional ranks or what have you. What, what advice do you have for those kind of kids? You know, uh, what, what should they actually be doing? You know, if they, they, they do aspire to, to have a career in sports or whatever, I mean, what kind of things are available to them? Well, I was one of those persons who uh, had planned to become a profess professional athlete until my father and my brother-in-law uh, inspired me to get my college degree. Awesome. So you had somebody supporting you that, that had you to steer you in the right direction. Correct. My coaches uh, and my parents uh, were a group of people who stayed behind me all the time. Okay. It was mandatory that uh, I passed my classes. Great. And I tried to get the, the most out of them that I could. Great. So the number one objective of all young men is to be become a college graduate. Awesome. To graduate from college. Awesome. Because young men and young ladies. Yes, young men and young ladies. When you do that, you have something to fall back on in case you don't reach your dream of making the pros. Great. Uh, everybody's not going to be LeBron James. <laughs> Very few. But everybody needs a job. Everybody needs and everybody needs an education nowadays. Everybody too. needs an education. Well, thank you so much, Coach Plummer. Once again, we have Elwood Plummer, the director at Second Baptist Community Center, a multi-purpose facility there on the east side of San Antonio. If you've got a business, you're looking to have an event, please give Coach a call at Second Baptist Community Center, thirty-three ten East Commerce Street, two eight one. 5167 is the phone number. Thanks so much, Coach. Look forward to talking to you again, and I look forward to seeing you out there in the bowling lanes. And thank you, Dennis. And hopefully you guys will take advantage of that, too. This is Doug Heath from Black Business Experience, and we'll talk to you next time.